Hi everyone, welcome to the next part of this um, planner page. I have just been making a coffee and thinking about how I'm going to do some of the elements on the page. And my first um, decision was to colour all of the little bubbles in a white pencil. Now this is because I'm planning on doing a background um, with a pastel. Um, colour, just a little bit of um, sort of bluey green for water and I thought that I wanted these bubbles, these little circles to be white. Now I'm not sure whether if I put some white Prisma pencil in each of them whether it will stop the background colour sort of taking on the paper and sort of resist it and keep them looking white. So this is a bit of an experiment so I'm just colouring each of these with a white Prisma pencil. Um, I haven't used the Castle Arts White. I don't find it's particularly good. So I'm just using the Prisma because I know it's actually putting a layer down. You won't be able to see it. That's why I haven't bothered zooming in. You can't see anything. Um, so just every single bubble. If it doesn't work, we can go over with a white pen. But I have found that the some of my soft pastels the um the white pen um takes up the pigment and it doesn't show up very well so um i thought i would try this and see whether it works more effectively so we'll see so i'm just doing all of the bubbles with the white to start with there that's it now I'm going to work on the fish. I fancy doing the fish and these flowers and then we'll go and do the um, leaves. Where are you Mr Fish? Swim into shop. Blup, blup. There we go. Blup. Now this fish, I always think he's upside down. I don't know why. My brain tells me he's upside down. And I, I think, think it's because of the position of his eye, but I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Orange fish, orange lake. We've got an orange frog, so I thought it would make sense to have an orange fish as well. Now, whenever I do um, colour fish, I always, well, almost always, do their fins and tail in a darker colour to their body and I don't know why I do that but it's just what I always seem to do. I've got my newish copy of Lost Ocean, well I think, did I get it for Christmas? My birthday last year, I can't remember. It's reasonably new and um, Cadbury and Orange and um, I've got a lot of fish to colour in there so I may need to start trying a different method. I want more layers of orange around the edge and then less as we go in towards the middle and it helps the body to look a bit more shaped. Now it's not quite vibrant enough. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to use the orangey yellow. This is the brilliant yellow. It takes a few layers to get going as we discovered um, yesterday. But I'm going to put that over the top and I think that will help to make our fish look a bit more vibrant. Although I find yellows really scary um, to colour with because I find blending them together is quite hard. Using them with an orange, I like, works well. So say this one seems to need a little bit of work, like it's not too, not very intense. Now eye, fish eye, I've shown you this before, just in case you haven't seen. Grab a grey, um, I'm just going to use the cool grey and do a little bit grey, oops. There and there. It should be quite light. I've gone too dark. I'm going to erase a little bit. 
So if you do a little bit of grey and leave some of it white, it makes the fish eye look a little bit shiny, as if it's moist, which it would be. Now my original plan was to do these orange, but we've done Mr Fish Orange. Let's zoom out and we can talk about colour. Now these leaves and things are going to be green that we've got left. So we need to think about what to do with this flower. So we've got the, the um, lavender, I think it was here, ultramarine. We've got the light purple and we've got pink. So what are we going to do up here with these flowers, which are now out of shot? Um, I don't want to go dark purple. I don't want to go light purple or dark pink or light pink. So what have we got? I'm thinking maybe we'll go blue. Does it go with the fish? Does it go with the orange? Mm, if we use the right blue, I think it will. So let's go back in so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry, in and out. I hope it's not making you feel dizzy. I know someone watching one of my videos yesterday was feeling dizzy, but I think she was a bit poorly. I don't think it was some poor thing. I'm going to go for, if it lets me grab, uh, the, I can't find the colour I want, the indigo light. Do we have a dark indigo? We only have indigo light. Uh, we only have indigo light. I'm going to try it. It's going to be fairly intense, I think. That end looks quite pale, but that looks quite dark. Indigo is normally dark. So we'll see how we get on. So for this top bit, I'm just going to try and go a little bit darker around the edge. It's quite small. And then for the petals, try a little bit darker near the centre than towards the end. It's quite a... Yeah, it's in, definitely indigo. I'm going to go over it with a more pretty colour. Sorry, indigo. You're pretty in your own way, but not quite for a flower. But this will give us... Hi, I am so sorry my telephone rang. I was on the phone for a long old time and I know that I was in the middle of saying something to you and I can't remember what it was. I, I don't want to risk taking back on my camera and listening because I fear that I might accidentally um, erase the whole video, which wouldn't be good. So I hope it wasn't anything too profound. So I finished that little bit of indigo blue there and uh, going to move on to a slightly more bright blue, the cerulean blue light. And I'm going to use that on top, really, just to make it nice and bright and cheerful. That indigo is a little bit dark, isn't it? But it will help to sort of add some shading to the air. That's better. I like that better. So yes, I've been, I was on the phone for an hour, which was lovely, chatting to my mum. She was in a happy mood, which was lovely. And uh, I had some lunch while I was on the phone as well. Sounds a bit rude, but that was... I do that, she doesn't mind. Okay, so that's that. And some, we've got all these leaves. Let's just uh, pull out a little bit. Now, I think I'm going to do these the same, but these, that one different, and those three the same. So uh, let's have a little think. Um, in, let's have a think. We've got, see, we've got sort of bluey greens, we've got mid greens, and we've got olive greens, is what I'm thinking. I think here we'll do a bluey green because we haven't got any nearby. So we'll do that first and we'll use our, let me just have a look, fallow green. Okay, fallow green. Oops, I'm just going to move some pencils out of my way. It's in my way of my elbow. So I'm going to use the fallow green with more layers here and less towards the tip of the plant. I may only use this colour. This is the pencil with the wibbly lead which we were using the other day. <laughs> I haven't got around to sharpening it but I think it's going to work for us. We'll see. Sometimes I persevere with a wibbly lead 
and uh, it can be you get a bit more color out of it it depends um, depends how bad it is sometimes you can just color it on one side and it's okay and other times it just gives in there we go really simple so that's it for that one we could um, you could go with the thallo green light and go over the tips want to do that mm. no I think I'm just gonna leave it I might change my mind you never know now this is really close to this mid green color so I'm gonna do these in the olives and then do this in the mid green now, I'm sort of planning you know so what have we got we have got the chrome green I think we'll go with that first now we have got let's just put that into the center we've got a stem on each of these leaves and I'm not going to color that with this I'm going to do the whole of the leaf with the chrome green apart from the stem and I'm just going to do a base color to start with It's really warm in here now, which is lovely. I'm almost thinking that I might want to take off my cardigan, but probably not, not that warm. My son was teasing me the other day. He was telling me that I should have worn my cardigan under my coat when I went out shopping because then I would be more like an old lady. Cheeky monkey. He's such a cheeky monkey. Keeps you young, on your toes, those cheeky teenagers. Oh, he's a lovely boy, really. He wouldn't do that if he doesn't. Um, he's not rude to his dad like that because his dad is sensitive. And he wouldn't find it funny. He knows that I've got a sense of humour. So uh, he's uh, he's a good boy. Although he was trying to hug me this morning because he had really cold hands, and I'm placing them on my neck, monkey boy. I got told off for that. His father lets him. He doesn't. Um, he says, oh, that's fine, I'll have a cuddle, any reason for a cuddle, and I'm like, no. Right, this is the um, cadmium green, and uh, I'm going to do the stems and the leaves all over with this, and then I'm going to return to the other one to put in some um, shading. So uh, we'll just go all over this one. I got some posts as well when I was uh, on the phone, which was exciting. It was a book that someone sent me to do a flip through of. You may have already seen the flip through because it will go out before this video goes out. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's really nice. So it's always exciting. I haven't, there has been flip throughs done of it already. And um, uh, but I haven't looked at them because I want to have a look at it on my flip through. I was thinking that's fun. I like to uh, sort of react to the pages and just for it to be a surprise for me as well as you. I just think that's pretty cool. Right, there we go. So now, as I said, we're going to return to the chrome green and we're going to do some darker areas. So along the edges of the uh, central stalk or vein I'm going to put a line of colour there we go, that's better struggling to hold it for some reason occasionally I find um, the pencils will slip in my hand I think it's, um, if my hands are cold or not, I'm not warmed up the colouring it, feels awkward and I haven't coloured for a bit because I've been on the phone so I don't know if it's to do with that now you could do a little more than this and I'm trying to decide whether to do a bit more I'm just looking in the camera because I can't really see very well um, that one's a bit thin Add a little bit more to that. So you could do some on the edges. I think I will. So I'm do a little more on the edge of each. Like that. 
and now I'm going to go back with my cadmium green and go back over. I don't think these bits are dark enough, so I want to darken them. Yeah, I'm not going to do the stem um, vein part. I don't know what the right name is. I think it's stem here and vein up here. Oh, I'm thirsty. I've got a cup of coffee next to me. I had a sip before I pressed and record, but it was so hot that I'm going to have it after. I'm looking forward to it. I always have decaf. I've got some oat milk today, which is rather nice. My coffee. I remember before I was, became lactose intolerant, my sister who's a vegan said to me, oh, people like oat milk in their oat milk coffees. They'll order them even if they're not um, vegan or lactose intolerant because it's so nice. And I thought, yeah, surely not. Surely people always prefer dairy. But actually, I can now see where she's coming from because it's really nice. Right, which yellow? shall I use for the um, I just want to make it look more vibrant and stand out I think I'm going to use this one this is the lemon yellow light and I don't think I've used it very much at all I haven't even sharpened it so let's see if it can the idea is just to make that a little more vibrant hmm. I can see a difference myself I don't know how well that shows up on the camera. But I feel like that's brighter, so I'm happy with that. Now, we have these two. As I said, I'm going to keep them the same. I'm going to use a mid green because we've got um, olive here and, and the, these bluey greens. So let's have a look. Right, we have the castle greens, we have the leaf greens. So you have a leaf green midland light, but they don't have just a leaf green. That's quite pale. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, let's go with the leaf green middle and the leaf green light. Just need to sharpen. So this is the leaf green middle. And we're going to use this for these two. Remember we said, sorry, I said, you don't do a lot of talking. <laughs> I said that uh, I was going to um, do these two the same. So I'm going to take that colour about halfway, layering it up more near the stem. I'm quite excited because we're going to do the background um, pastel bit in a minute. I'm looking forward to that. I want to see if the uh, white pencil works. Remember I put the white pen, it feels like ages ago, it was for me, but not for you. Alright, there we go. And then the leaf green light, which again I'm just going to sharpen because it's... Uh, I feel like I need a good point to get into the corner of those leaves. There we go, so let's just show you leaf green light. Let's do corner edges. There we go. Oh, my son has reminded me again and says I need to remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. He says I need to remind you that it's free and that you can unsubscribe at any time. <laughs> He knows that he watches a lot of YouTube videos. He knows what people say. Mum, you need to make sure you're saying this. All right, love. There we go. So I'm just looking and checking that I'm happy. And then we'll, yeah. And then we'll get our pastels out. I'm just going to sweep that. We need to make it big, don't we? So you can see. Now my plan is not to put it over the whole page, but just sort of, whoops, is that all a bit in shot? No. There we go. 
um, to not to not go right out to the corners but just to sort of do it across this bit but we'll see how it looks I just need to move my pencil pen which is just to the side of me here put it on the other side for a minute and then I can get my pastels out now let's have a look and choose a colour choose one together now I don't think this set has the exact colour that I want but I shall pop them under the camera so we can have a little look so I love the rainbow of colours in this box it's, these are the Mungio pastels now I think that rather than going for green so you've got quite a greeny blue there which might work I think it might be better to go for blue water just because we've got so much green in the picture and I'm thinking this blue might be the one I think I'll try that. Let's move some pencils and things out of the way. I think I will try that blue, and then um, if um, it isn't quite right, I will um, let me just try and get everything in shot. If it isn't quite right, I might add a bit of green with it. So but I just think we've got a lot of green going on. So I'm going to rub my. Um, cloth onto here and just I don't want it too dark because we're going to fade it out a little bit like that so we're not going to have loads now I'm going too far out hold on that's not what I wanted I want to erase that one minute I'm going to get my eraser I don't copy what I did I'm just rubbing my eraser on a scrap piece of paper because it's really dirty. I want to take that bit away. Okay. Right, let's let's go again. So this bit just gently blend it round. That's better. I'll just do little areas soft. And gentle. You don't necessarily need it to be really dark, I don't think. Because you can always build up layers, it's much more difficult to take them away. It might actually be tricky for you to see. That there's even pastel in some of the areas. Not sure. Now, because we put our pastel on top of the pencil, it can sometimes stay in certain areas. Like that fish eye was white, it's now probably blue. And some areas will take it better than others, so you might need to think about what you're doing. On this particular picture, I'm not too worried. And if you think about it, these plants, some of them might be under the water anyway. The um, frog and the lily pads are on top, but the rest and the, and the lily, but some of them might be just under the surface. The fish is under the water, for example. So that might be okay if he's got blue over him. Now, pastel is really quick for background, which means you can actually take your time, not rush too much, because you're not going to be spending too long doing it. Now, if you prefer, you can take it right to the corner. I'm not going to. I'm quite happy with how it's looking. I'm just adding more in different places, really. Even out a little bit doesn't have to be precisely even though water isn't now, it is sitting on top of my white prisma pencil so it's not um, it isn't um, preventing it from going on so we're gonna have to put a bit of pen on there and see if it holds but that's okay it was an interesting experiment it didn't work but there we go Okay, so that is just a small. Oh, I've just noticed a bit that I completely missed. There we 
Okay. Um, so that is just a small bit of background blue and I'm quite happy with it just being quite light. You can do it darker if you want to, you could do it in pencil. You know, there are lots of options. But I'm going to use my white Posca to try and just make these bubbles look whiter. I don't know if it's really going to stand out. I don't even know if that pen's working. Should be. There we go. With the Posca, they they sometimes just need reactivating. And I'm going to try and leave the black line around the bubble because I think it helps them to stand out, even though we're doing them white because the background's quite pale. Don't always stand out. This is a really easy way to do bubbles. I have got a video on how to do them, like a raindrop, in a much more complex way. But now, normally I would have be resting on a on a cotton pad so that I'm not smudging pastel everywhere I'm trying to be really careful and only gently touch the page and not move my art hand and smudge it because my cotton pads are drying on the radiator the one I used is the only one I've got um, at the moment I washed the others and they're drying so we're nearly done though and I think that white is showing up quite well so I'm pleased I don't think I have managed to smudge it too badly. So there we are. So that is me done. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little series of videos. Um, I had a lot of fun with that page. So um, I hope you did too. Whether you coloured along my way or did things your way. It doesn't matter, does it? I just hope you had fun. So thank you so much and happy colouring.